Hello and welcome to Doke Audi. Today I'm going to be showing you around this approved used Audi Q2 S line, 35 TFSI with 150 PS and the six speed manual gearbox. This particular Audi Q2 does come finished in the Navara blue metallic paint finish. And this being an approved used Audi does come with the minimum of one year's warranty as well as one year's roadside assistance. And if you would like any more information on this vehicle, then please do give our team a call on 01782 488205. Coming to the front of the vehicle, we do have this car's LED headlights, which offer up a really nice bright beam with lighting up those darker road conditions. Coming around the front of the Q2, we can see the large Audi signature grille with the Audi rings to the center. We can also see the silver styling cues, which feature around the vehicle's exterior. Coming down the side, we do have this car's 18 inch, five segment spoke design alloy wheels, contrasting nicely against that Navara blue paint finish. Taking a look down the side, we can see the car's S-line badges signifying the car's trim level. We also have the body color door mirrors, the black trim around the windows and the rear C-pillar finished in the silver. Coming down the rear side of the vehicle and opening the rear passenger side door, we can take a look at this car's interior to the rear, with the seats finished in the leather and cloth material. These rear seats do also feature the child Isofix anchor points, allowing you to easily install a child car seat into the rear of the vehicle. As we take a look around in the vehicle's interior, we can see there's plenty of legroom here in the back for adults and children alike, making it really nice and comfortable. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle, we do have the rear LED tail lights, which do feature the dynamic indicators. And to the rear, we also have the relevant badging for the vehicle. Opening this car's rear powered tailgate is a simple double click of the button on the keys. And you can also press the button on the keys to hold the tailgate at any opening position. Taking a look inside the rear of the vehicle, we can see there's plenty of boot space for those day-to-day -day tasks. And we can also see that the rear seats do fold separately in a 60-40 configuration to open that space up should you need to carry larger or longer items. Whilst the rear scuff plate at the back protects the rear paint weight with sliding items inside. A button to the top of the rear tailgate closes it automatically for you. A really nice handy feature should you find you have your hands full. This is a 2021 model of the Audi Q2 S line and has covered just over 2,310 miles. Opening the driver's side door, we can take a look at this car's interior to the front and the first thing you'll notice is the S line badged flat bottom multifunction steering wheel. This car does come with the large Audi virtual cockpit display with the digital dials and to the centre we have the multimedia display screen controlled via the scroll dial and buttons in the centre console to access many of the car's tech features as well as changeable settings. Taking a look around we can see the front seats come finished in that leather and cloth material with the embossed S logos just below the head restraints and these seats do come with the seat heating functionality perfect for those colder winter months. Part of this car's upgraded comfort and sound package are the amazing Sonos sound system speakers that feature throughout the vehicle. And these are great for streaming your latest music tracks or listening to podcasts. So thank you for coming on a 360 tour of this approved used Audi Q2 S line. Remember, if you would like any more information on this vehicle, then please do give our team a call. And if you stick around in this video, we are going to go on a more in-depth tutorial around the vehicle's interior to highlight some of its interior and tech features. Taking a look from the driver's perspective, we do have that flat bottom leather multifunction steering wheel, which to the right houses the controls for the volume up and down. We have the voice command button, the telephone answering button, as well as the customizable star button, which can be changed in the car's settings menu. Moving over to the opposite side, we have the controls for the Audi virtual cockpit display, which we'll take a look at in a second. And down below, we have the car's cruise control stalk, perfect for those longer motorway journeys. Taking a look at the Audi virtual cockpit display, you can see you can use those buttons on the steering wheel to flick through the different menu options available and do things like get a nice wide view of the car's built-in satellite navigation system. Moving over to the driver's door panel, we have the central locking buttons for the doors to the front and rear. Moving further down below, we have the electronic adjustment controls for the door mirrors to either side, the electric window controls for the windows to the front and rear, as well as the child locks for the two rear doors. Moving over to the centre of the car's dash, we have the multimedia display screen, and using the scroll dial in the centre console, we can easily select from menu options like this car's built-in DAB radio, with a great choice of radio stations. 
This car does come with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Audi smartphone interface. This allows you to easily connect your smartphone device to the car's display and gain access to things like your music streaming services, hands-free phone calls, as well as a range of compatible applications. As seen earlier, this car does come with the full satellite navigation system and you can use that scroll dial to easily zoom in and out of the map system. So the top we have the Audi Drive Select with efficient, comfort, auto, dynamic and individual driving styles to choose from. Again as part of this car's upgraded comfort and sound package we do have the clear rear view camera as well as the front and rear parking sensors. This makes parking this Audi Q2 really nice and easy. Moving further down we do have some quick access buttons for different menu options. And further down again we have this car's dual zone climate control centre. With the dials to either side changing the in-car temperature and the dial to the centre changing the fan intensity. We also have some buttons to change things like the fan direction. To either side we have the button controls for the car's two front heated seats which do a great job of keeping you nice and warm during those colder winter months and again a part of the car's upgraded comfort and sound package. Moving further down below we have this car's 12 volt power socket as well as the USB-A port, perfect for keeping those media devices nice and charged, especially when they're connected to the car's system. Moving back we do have two adjustable cup holders as well as the audio control dial. We have this car's 6 speed manual gearbox which does feature the electronic parking brake. And coming to the back we have that scroll dial and menu buttons for the multimedia system. So thank you for coming on a tour of this Audi Q2 S line. Remember as an approved used Audi this car does come with the minimum of one year's warranty as well as one year's roadside assistance and we have plenty of finance options available. For a personalised finance quote on this vehicle or to book a test drive then please do give our team a call on 01782 488 205. Thank you.